<clears throat> hey guys, it's been a long time. Uh, welcome back to Drew's Forge. We're making videos again. Uh, so, just kind of fill you in, it has been like 10 months since my last video. Uh, my wife is doing better every day. She's, uh, she's still got a few little bugs to work out, but, you know, she's trying. She's trying real, real, real hard. But, uh, yeah, so, and, you know, coronavirus, so we really haven't gone anywhere or done anything. So, I've been going nuts because I can't make nothing. And then, finally, this whole time, <clears throat> not this whole time, uh, about the past three months or so, where my wife has been, you know, exponentially growing each and every day, uh, I've had the urge to make stuff. And in my head, I'm like, I have nowhere to blacksmith, so there's nothing I can really do. And then I remembered, Drew, you're an idiot. You know how to weld. So that's what we're going to do. I'm starting a whole new series on here. Uh, once I'm able to forge, I'm like desperately seeking a shop. Um, I have been now for about six months, seven months. I've been looking for a shop. Uh, really hard to find. Because uh, everybody has one, doesn't want to rent it out. But, uh, so I'm still trying uh, to get a shop. But in the meantime, I'm like, hey. You can still make stuff and make content for you guys. I, I, and I've missed you guys. Hopefully you've missed me. Well, at least your assassins have missed me. But anyway, enough uh, running the lap. Running the lips. Jesus, I still can't talk. Uh, so I'm, this new video series I'm starting is called... Uh, I want to call it the Apocalyptico series. Uh, where I go to the scrapyard, and when I find stuff, I weld the stuff together to make weapon stuff. So the first one we're doing is going to involve this pipe. Ah, oh, that's sharp. Yeah. Some saw blades. Some chainsaw chain. Some regular chain. And a, and a big ass nut, not that kind of nut, a nut. So basically here's what's gonna happen. This is gonna be my handle. Uh, I can't forge, so I'm gonna try some different techniques. But uh, we're gonna cut the, the uh, saw blades in half. And we're gonna make a saw blade mace. Uh, but before I can do any of that, I gotta clean this stuff up. This is the funny part. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean all this up, and then I'm gonna make it all rusty again. I know. But anyway, so that's that's the plan. Like these are they'll be cut to a certain shape, and then you know like this nut's gonna be the pummel. It's it's gonna go on to counterbalance it. The chain part. What I'm thinking is I'll weld it to where it's stiff, it'll become a guard. Obviously not this tight, but to cover your hand. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some decorative stuff, but still deadly with the chainsaw chain, but I gotta clean it all up first. So the way that we're gonna do that is in a vinegar bath. And I'm gonna let it soak about two, three days. Uh, it's gonna get all this rust off, but what it's not gonna do versus grinding, grinding I'll make everything smooth. It's going to leave all the pits and everything that, that uh, the rust has eaten into the metal. So it, it still has that old look, which is kind of what I'm going for. So that's that. I'm going to try to squeeze this whole build into one video. Um, but it is going to take me probably about two weeks. So hopefully you saw the trailer on the channel. I thought it was pretty cool. I have been uh, practicing some video editing stuff. Uh, but yeah, so... 
let's put stuff in the vinegar bath. <clears throat> okay, uh, so if you ever want to do something like this at home or you have something rusty and you, you don't have access to a grinder, plain old white distilled vinegar. Uh, it's, it works good. So anyway, so I'm going to create this soup here. And then in about two or three days, we will uh, we'll see what it looks like. Mmm, vinegar. I need more. Okay, see you guys in a couple days. So here we are, day two of vinegar soup. Yummy. Ooh, look at it bubbling away. Still on day two. But I wanted to show you the grossness of the soup. All right, we're on day three of the vinegar soup. Let's look at it. It's so gross. Look at that. So you can actually see the shapes. That's chainsaw blade. This is a chain. There's the pipe. These are some uh, half rounds. There's another chain here. Saw blade. Another chainsaw chain there. But it's just bubbling away. So I think we're see if it was warmer, it'd be it'd be done already. But because it's uh, it's cold, it's taking a little longer, so I think I might give it one more day. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So here's the soup on day four. I'd say it's just about done. So tomorrow morning, we'll take everything out and start cleaning it. Hey, okay, here we are. Uh, day five of the soak. It's cleanup day, and the soup, as you've seen by the pictures, looks pretty freaking gross. So, I kept it covered like this, so uh, it, it would hold at least some heat that it would pick up during the day to try to make it go a little bit faster. Oh, look at that. Whew. That's a stanky. It's so stanky. Here we go. And look at that. So, as you can see, this is really cold. All that rust, all that rust is just gone. I have polished a turd. So, let me get this cleaned up. I'm not going to make you guys watch it, but just wanted to show you how it came out compared to what it was and it's got all the little pits and everything I wanted from the the patina of the rust so yeah so I'm gonna get to cleaning all this up and then uh, we'll be back all right sorry about the shaky camera bad camera work you know how that goes um, so I got the rust everything removed off of the pieces and then I've done the re-rust which it's just it's light so it gives it this patina between the vinegar uh, bath and the re-rusting of it gives it this like old look which is what I'm going for I didn't film it you know because it's not that interesting to watch uh, but let me flip this around and then show you uh, what I'm doing so here's the stuff that's the patina the vinegar left so you know, makes it look old and you see the the light rusting I put back on there 
same with the chainsaw blades and everything else. Uh, so this is this is where I'm working. This is the back of my truck. Uh, all my equipment, not all of it, but a good chunk of it, I got to load up because I keep it all in a separate bedroom because I don't have a shop. So we got the plasma cutter, we got uh, various tools I need, compressor, welding table, power source, uh, one welder, I got the other welder up there in the truck. Uh, if you ever see a truck like this, that's me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get set up and get to it. Alright, so now ready to find the center of the blades and then get those cut out one fifty three seventy six would be half. So seventy six. Seventy six point two. Seems to be finicky. Oh. Screwed that up, didn't I? So. My Sharpie's dry. I left it open like an idiot. Did I leave the ruler? Okay. Improvise. All right, let's start plasma cutting. Doesn't it sound so lovely? But yeah, plasma cut. So much faster than the angle grinder. So, yay for that. So now I just gotta plasma cut two more, and then uh, we can start mocking everything up and see how it's gonna look. Be back in a minute.
I got real shaky on that last cut. See how it's all blown out on the side, but that's why we have a grinder. So, all right. So, I got the blades pretty well fit up. Uh, got the edges all cleaned up. So they'll sit. Uh, flush I mean a little gap but not much they'll sit flush there and that's yeah so coming together uh, I'm gonna start tacking these on I think I'm gonna do four blades on there I do have two extra which look vicious I haven't cleaned this up but I love the teeth on these I don't know I might add these in I might not it's up in the air right now uh, but the main reason I'm doing this is for school. I'm in welding school and I have to sh make a project where I show a fillet weld, a butt weld, and a plug weld. So, uh, let's create some weapons. Here's my idea. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to get everything set up and then we're going to start welding on these. I'm just going to tack them at first and then I'm probably going to run uh, a one, no, a 332nd, one, uh, 7018 rod with a few passes to build the weld up and then gonna divot it and smooth it out and blend it together. Uh, that's my plan. Uh, I'm hoping you guys are liking the new format. I'm getting rid of the music because uh, the music I was using is supposedly copyright free and then I got copyright claims on my videos, so it's a pain in the ass. So just little clips from now on is how we're going to do this. We can get set up to weld and we'll be right back. Might be time to buy some new Sharpies. They're dying on me. I'm just marking where the blades are gonna go. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get these tacked up. So, I have a bit of a dilemma. I left my welding magnets in my house. Do I a take the chance, leaving all my equipment unattended in the back of this truck for the two minutes that I have to run to the house to get the magnet or do I B load everything up go into the house grab the magnet come back and unpack everything fuck <laughs> or C freehand tacking Insert Jeopardy music here. Uh, option C. So since we're going with option C, gonna make it a little bit tougher. Now this is just some anti-spatter to try to keep it clean. Um, all right. Let's get loud. And uh, we'll give these a tack. Right. Now my clamp's in the way. 
Got it welded up. I still got to weld the other side and here. Which kind of give you the idea of it. Hey, it's coming along. So, before I can weld any more onto this part, I need to let it cool before I start blowing holes through my metal. So, figured why that's cooling get started on the pommel so this is just some big ass nut <laughs> that I found it's gonna go on like so and then that'll be my butt weld area and then I'm gonna fill this part with weld and then put this on so the finished part if I can hold all this together will be like so think it's going to be pretty nifty so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grind this flat enough to meet up with the bolt because you can see I got, I got some gap in in there so I just want to grind it flat and then uh, then I'll weld this part onto here while that's cooling and then we'll move on to the, the and this is going to have to cool for a little bit. Then we'll move on to the, uh, the chainsaw blade part of it. And by then it should be cool enough for me to attach the other two blades. As long as nothing goes wonky. Let's hope. So since I'm an idiot and I forgot to push the button, you guys didn't get to see the pommel. See the welder. And bad camera work, but yeah, I just gotta clean it up. Whew. Just gotta clean it up. But that's the bottom of it done. So now, we'll go over here. <laughs> this is ridiculous for a shop. It's so tedious. I'm gonna take this chainsaw look at the way that looks isn't that look fucking awesome but yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it and then it's gonna get wrapped around 
this part, I don't know how I'm going to do the wrap yet. I was thinking do a ring and then a piece that comes down to give it like a spiral twist kind of thing. I don't know yet. That's, uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do next. So I got to go get another tool and switch everything around. And, oh no, I don't. I got it right here. Then, <laughs> I can't wait till I can forge again. I found this big bad boy on the side of the road. Uh, make some cable Damascus steel. That's in the work. And then just another little scrap of some shit that I found that I could possibly use. But, so, uh, let's cut some chainsaw. Oh no, I'm stuck. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna wrap a piece like so. So with the blades out as much as possible. Then you know what? I might be able to. Huh. I'm not digging that. I'm not digging that at all. I can run it straight. I like that. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. A couple about yay long, straight sections, yeah, I think that'll work, and it's still kind of keep the look, I don't know, I'm still not full on, that's still really hot. Let's run this 7018 cap over the leaves. And uh yeah.
rigorous. It's not, not wanting to maintain the arc. Sucks. Blue hole right through it. That fucking sucks. I almost blew a hole through it right here, too. All right, we're gonna stick with the uh, with the mix. Just have to build it up with the mix. I'm gonna repair this, and then I'll be back. So I'm an idiot. Forgot to uh, push the button. All right, here we go. Started to build up the welds. They still look kind of ugly, but, you know. And then I got the pommel put on. Now remember, I'm gonna build weld all the way from the corner, ah, it's hot. All the way from the corner, up. And then smooth it out so it just looks like one solid piece. That's the same attempt that I'm gonna do up there. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I said I was gonna try to do this build in one video not gonna happen I'm losing daylight now and uh, I'm pretty sure the neighbors there behind me are tired of hearing my generator and grinders and everything else so that's gonna be it for this one as always like share subscribe I would direct you to the you know to the Etsy store but I don't have anything on there right now uh, obviously but, uh, so here comes the uh, the boring part of the video where I say you know how likes help and subscriptions help and it doesn't cost you anything but uh so that's that and uh part one of the it's looking tough part one of the mace apocalyptical build is done i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you real soon in the next one thanks guys